Okay, um, thank you for introduction. I just want to say that my background is in motion graphics and uh, visuals, so I'm not a programmer, so everything I'm going to show you is from this kind of point. So I just want to tell you that about my, my background. Also, I want to say about my inspiration. I'm starting with, uh, what's hard for me because the first thing I start with uh, interactive with processing and open frameworks and was my background is not a programmer. So it was very difficult to me to get into interactivity. So when my fir the first time I see how it works, touch designer with those, this container connecting together was like a love for the first sight. So, also, these, uh, these tools that I'm going to show you are inspired in the amazing work of Matthew Ragan and Richard Burns. Also, all the, the touch designer community is a lot of different BJs, uh, different BJ systems already done in touch designer. This is like a, something similar. Uh, uh, so, uh, Okay, I'm going to show you some example of, of our work that this system that I'm going to show you is uh, in this kind of cases. So for example, this was a project we made for Nike. Uh, they want to make these football fields with projections, uh, lasers to have the score in the LED screens and we have to manage everything in one uh, master control. So we developed this system that connects uh, different media in one uh, master media server. In this case, we have lasers, we have LED screens, we have projection on the floor. We have some uh, two sensors also to track uh, the players in the field. And we have these uh, LED tubes. Everything was controlled and uh, developed in, in touch. So this is one example. Uh, another one, this is... Uh, Another example that uh, uh, installation we made for Mutech, Mutech Mexico, the last year. Uh, this was inspired in the um, Arthur Sir Clark uh, novel. So we want to recreate this monolith and to experiment how people uh, get attached to this kind of, of uh, geometries. And the, the, the result was pretty amazing. All people was like touching this uh, monolith. So we, we get to the point. Um, um, this was uh, also a project with lasers. We, we developed this uh, tool to mix. It's similar that pangolins do, but everything made in touch. So we can mix uh, lasers together, several lasers, uh, previous pre 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 uh, the, the, um, all the work we are doing. So I want to show you this also. Uh, also, uh, things with VR and stuff, um, this kind of interactive walls also. Um, and we have a, a lot of different projects, but now our, uh, our workflow is to integrate uh, all this system that I'm going to show you. So this is another kind of work we do, like events or stage, etc. So. Um, okay, so Touch Designer as a media server. Uh, uh, we are in a summit of Touch Designer, so we have to admit that uh, maybe Touch Designer is the best media server in the market. Um, of course, <laughs> of course, uh, in the market, I add a lot of different tools, but and they make a very good job. But Touch Designer is the tool that makes everything. Uh, if we want to recreate this in other platforms, we are we, we are going to need like five different softwares. So it's uh, it's difficult. So what we want to do is to create a media server that have everything. So I'm going to show you that it's not quite difficult because my my background is not in programming. So I only using like replicators, toxes, and uh, uh, custom parameters to make this uh, a mixer to to synchronize a lot of different content. So that's why we, um, it's like a new question. I, I think the the BJ concept is already like old concept because we not not longer going to mix video. 
So maybe it's a question for you that how is the next concept for, for this kind of work? Is like a multimedia jokey, like will be like MJ or something like that, media? Because we are going to mix a lot of different uh, technology in like a BJ do it, but with different uh, media, okay? So maybe this is a question for you, that maybe we can define this concept at the end of this talk. Um, and okay, this also a, a perpetual work in progress. All good things in life are always a work in progress. Uh, at Stutz Designer itself, so... <laughs> It's always like uh, making it better, like always is a permanent job to this tool works better. So uh, uh, for us, like when we do commercial stuff, you already deliver the project and it's okay. You have to go to the next one. But this kind of, of tools and this kind of projects are like constantly development and constantly uh, getting better. Also, this is a teamwork in Intus. It's a, a work that a lot of us are spending a lot, a lot of time. I want to thank to, to all our, especially to uh, Omar, who is here, to help me to develop all these tools. So, uh, the first problem is how we are going to connect all these uh, different, all these different media in one, in one server. So we are not like IT guys, we didn't know like a lot of network connections, but it uh, was very simple. So the first task is to create a machine network. This is quite uh, simple or we, this is like our setup. First of all, everything is connected to a switch. So for example, this is the laser that have an ether dream the Ethereum goes to the switcher. Uh, we have the LED uh, tubes, and it's the same, goes to Arnet device, and then to a switcher. Uh, we have these uh, cameras to, to create like a CCTV uh, cameras that goes with a, a video switcher, Roland video switcher. These go to a Macwell capture card that goes to a laptop this will run notch. This is sending to another capture card that, is, that has the main system that controls everything. So like everything is connected with this feature. It seems like complex, but really is very easy to set up. Um, so you only have to make an uh, uh, IP address for each machine, uh, a static IP address, and you are ready to, to run. So I'm going to show you the, the first system. That is, uh, is this one? Yeah, uh, no, is, is this one? So all these are like subsystems that live together in a main, uh, main master system. So this is the, the first one. It's very, very simple. As I say, the, the approach is only replicators, uh, custom operators, and uh, binding. So what I have here is like uh, my lasers. So in these uh, squares, I want to mix it out. I want to pre, -bil pre my my laser and then send it to the projector. So for example, I have here the, my two, uh, my two uh, visualization of the laser. So if I change it, change it in red. So for example, I can mix it here and then send it to the projector. So it's very a uh, beijing mixing tool, but with lasers. So I can connect all this audio, audio, I don't know, to the rotation or the scale, or maybe uh, put some expressions <clears throat> to control this, uh, all this in life, no? So this, uh, this tool was made for four lasers to work together, but if we, we need to expand it, we can do it. So for example, I have, uh, I'm going to throw this, uh, this new visual 
and I just uh, needed to throw, throw it out and will be displayed. Uh, I have, uh, uh, I think it's the main, uh, we, we saw a lot of how it works pangolin, so it's almost the same concept to mix different visuals and everything is inside of toxes. So we, uh, th uh, we create the graphic in a tox, we save it, we put it in a folder and we'll be up here, here with a new bottom and with the custom parameters. So every time we need to create a new visual, we just save it in a tox and put it here in, the, in this system. So it's like this, just a simple, simple mixer. Um, so as I say to you, it's only here all the, the, the container that is uh, have his, uh, his custom parameters with a select and all the replicators that are filled in this folder. So simple, it's like a, a few lines of code just for cooking, but everything is like only the, the nodes that Touch Designer have in it. Um, so this is a, this uh, laser system. Uh, we, we can create a static IP address to the Etherdream because sometimes you have the Etherdream and always you connect it, it's changing. So it's very easy with the last firmware you can uh, make a static IP addressing to the Etherdream. Uh, okay, the next one is the LED system. It's also very similar. Uh, very similar and pretty uh, simple. So here we can create like how many strips we are going to have or how many LED tubes. So I can change it here and we'll automatic, automatically display it. And also how many uh, LED or how many pixels have each uh, LED tube or LED strips. And here we can uh, uh, addressing subnet, universe, and other stuff. So it's the same concept. We have bottoms with different scenes and also we can customize our own uh, our own graphic here in this uh, UI. So I can uh, delete colors, add colors, or just uh, take these pre-made pre uh, files that are also toxic. So again, uh, pretty simple to, to, to do it and pretty simple to run. Uh, so the next one is uh, the Touch Designer with Notch. The, this new integration that I find it pretty amazing. Uh, so it's the same. We build this like a BJ system to run Notch blocks. That is this one. So it's pretty similar. Um, uh, we are we are trying to do that what uh, D3 does uh, with notch blocks, but also all, all in touch designer. So, for example, I have this this visual here that is running in the in the background with the D, DLL, and I can't I don't know like uh, uh, attach the audio to this visual. All the exposes parameters that you expose in, in Notch, you can see it in these custom parameters here in, in Touch Designer. So you can mix like different, uh, different visuals. And also I have here like a, um, IMAX, uh, it's quite heavy, this project, so because the notch blocks is very heavy. So when I have all these touch designer instances open, the, the, the thing is these have to live in different machines, no? It's the main idea because it's so many, uh, 
so many processes, so we have in different machines each system. So, works like this. I can mix uh, here all the, the blocks. So, uh, you can mix this also with generative stuff uh, made it in, in touch, no? So, it's a simple mixer also for, for notch blocks. So, I can go under, go as, compositing, and different stuff. Also, we have a, if we have a kinet connected to this, we can connect it and throw it out and all these uh, cameras are going through this also. Okay, so... This is the, the other system. So the depth cameras and CCTV cameras go through the, also go through, through notch and we process it there. And finally, we have this uh, master control that have like everything to, uh, everything here. So when we uh, click, for example, one of these buttons, all the machines w are going to, sh to change. So all the content is going to be synchronized in all the machines. This is, this is a pretty easy setup with only touch-ins and touch-outs. If we need more, uh, synchronize uh, content very exactly. We do it with sync chops, but uh, mainly touch in and touch out works perfectly. So, for example, here, I have this here, and I can visualize what, uh, the, what are the inputs. Also, I can have, a, I don't know, mapping tools maybe adding another mapping tools later. And uh, mainly, is that, is that it? It's a system that is uh, connected to another subsystems and uh, everything uh, works together like that. So as I said, everything is binding, like uh, the laser system is uh, made with the new laser chop, that by the way is amazing, works pretty well. And uh, all the projects works like the same way. We have these replicators, and then attach it to this uh, parameter window. So all the operator change it, and each one of these have his own parameter, custom parameters. And uh, you can start BJing uh, different multimedia stuff very quickly. So basically, is, this is what I uh, want to show you. Uh, I don't know, do you have any more questions? Or you have questions for this? <laughs> Greg has a question. Yeah, how do you deploy things on other machines? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, I want to uh, show you how it works with everything together, but for a talk was like a, a little bit complicated, so I bring it everything in one machine. But the idea is to have all the system and different machines and connect it together as I show it. Are there any other questions? Question over here. Can you show again the video of, uh, of the project, how it works in real, in real <laughs> world? The video, video of, ah, of okay. the project, actually, yes, yeah. how, it, how, how it was worked. 
Uh, for example, like this one this. have a different uh, inputs. So one machine has the LED tubes, other machine has the lasers, uh, other machine has... No, no, I, I mean the result of the work, some video of uh, how it works uh, like this, but maybe we have from one point not switching so fast. <laughs> uh, sorry? So... Okay. Just ho hoping for a little more detail in one of the earlier projects you showed. Um, will be like this. Uh, for example, here we have these sensors that are connected to the uh, uh, to are attached to the floor. So when the people, uh, the players, uh, run in this uh, in this field, is the tracking points. Uh, also, we have uh, this, uh, the main, mainly the system is this, are several machines that have connected, for example, lasers, another machine that have the LED tube, another machine that have the projection, another the LED, so we are working almost with uh, uh, not, not so expensive GPUs, and connected together with this, uh, uh, with this setup with a switcher like uh, this one. <laughs> Basically, is, is that. What are your connection points? Uh, how, do you, how do you transfer data between the different low GPU machines? Uh, transfer the data with the switcher and touch-ins and touch-outs. Touch-in and touch-out. Yes, yes. Are there any other questions? Uh, thank you very much for oh, your thank talk. You.